This is a quick video to show you how to make an ebook cover using software called Cover Factory, which you can download from coverfactory.com. The software is compatible with all recent versions of Windows on the PC, and there is a free trial download version that you can try out for free, download and try for free, or if you like it, you can register and upgrade to the full version, which is what's shown in this video. This is the initial screen of Cover Factory. Um, I start in this particular case by saying I'm going to create a new project and I have a choice of what kind of ebook cover I want to create. So for example I create a book with a CD-ROM, a book, uh, a binder which is one where there's a, a ring binder on the end, boxes, good for software, card like a credit card for a membership site, uh, and also options like a CD-ROM, a zip disk, floppy disk and so on. So we're going to have a book with a CD-ROM in this case uh, and I'll choose um, the uh, large book option and I'll change it, just choose the default size and then take me through choosing options here. Now I can choose the, um, the what to put on the background of the front, so I can choose a, an image, uh, I can choose colour gradient, after uh, texture, so forth. So for example if I choose a colour I'll be able to choice of colour, if I choose a um, gradient I can choose different uh, ways of shading and choose colours to combine them together. Um, I can choose um, patterns like this, uh, textures, uh, and pictures. Um, I can use a, an image of my own or a, um, a, one of the library images provided with the software um, as a background on the cover. Uh, and once I've got that, I can also add items on top of it, like for example, I add text, lines, graphics on top of the background. So what I'll do is I'm going to choose a library image. Uh, I could equally I'll use my own image for a digital camera or something like that and select that. And I've actually got here um, one of uh, a ferret, which I think is quite a nice picture in the library. So I'm going to use that and uh, use that as my library image. Uh, it's not the same shape as my covers here, so it gives me different options. I can stretch it to the cover I'll use the left hand side of it, center part, right hand part of the image. So let's use the center, obviously. Looks best. Now the spine of the book, um, again I could use a picture, colour, textures to cover the spine side of it. I'll just put a colour, a solid colour, just make it red. And if I go through the paper colour for the pages in the middle, uh, this can all be changed later, but we'll just use a default. And if I click next now, it's now going to ask me um, for which uh, CD-ROM image I want to use. Yeah, lots of different colours. I can use coloured CDs, ones with colour. So let's choose this nice um, one here. Uh, where do I want to put it relative to the book? We'll put it just inside uh, the back cover. Uh, the background shown behind the book, we just have a white background. Um, how big is the background behind it? All of this after, can be adjusted afterwards, uh, but we'll just use the default. Uh, and how do I want the lighting uh, to appear? I think I'll just put a light um, in front of the book like that. And I'll go through there. And there's some special effects as well you can add. So i add that. There's my front cover of the book. If I do a layout, you'll see here. Um, where it shows you here what the, what the overall layout is. If I do render, it will actually give me the 3D version. The cover here. And I can uh, zoom to fit and you'll see exactly what it looks like. Um, the real version, if I zoom 100%, is actually slightly bigger than the screen, hence the scroll bars. So you can see it's actually better quality there. Um, so we'll go back to the, zoomed, we'll go back to the uh, front of it. Now uh, let's add some text and so forth on the covers. Uh, one of the, I'd like to actually add a red, nice um, border effect onto it, on top and bottom of it. So I can use this margin button to do it, which is a very quick way of doing it. So I can add a red stripe or a colourful stripe on the top and bottom of the cover. So let's add one at the top and one at the bottom. What I'll do is I'll actually add, um, first of all, I'll add a, um, a blue stripe uh, like this on the top. And I'll make it 10% or 11%, let's say, of the overall height. You see it's there, and add another blue stripe on the bottom. Also make it eleven percent of the overall height of the cover. On top of that, I'm going to add a red stripe, 
10 but instead of being 11 percent i will make that 10 percent so it looks like a nice two uh, two color effect so i'll go to 10 percent there Struggling with the mouse on this laptop. Okay, I'm going to set that. Okay, and one on the bottom like that, same sort of thing. There we are. There's the two color effect. I can also add some um, text on as well. So, this is a book about ferrets. So, I can select that here. Choose an effect like a bordered text, so we're going to have yellow with red inside it, make it bold. Let's try that. There. Uh, it's not bad, maybe I should have made it a different color combination. Um, we can do, do that if I do uh, the properties option, I can adjust it. It's still selected. Uh, so actually, we'll, we'll use um, red on the I'm going to stick with the yellow on the outside and we'll make the inside of the text um, dark blue and we'll make it slightly bigger. Perhaps I'll make it uh, 64 pixels high. And that looks a bit better. We need to move it up a bit here. Uh, I can actually just drag it with the mouse like that. A bit more up there. Uh, what I'll do is I'll center it horizontally within the image. It's there. I can add a line of text at the bottom. Uh, uh, let's do that here, put that here, all the same attributes, 56 high, bold, and we'll put by Smith, yeah, yeah. Uh, I need to put the other way around, a uh, blue outline of the text, and I need to move it up a bit, so we can switch to this, drag it up a bit. And do properties. Just to be dark blue with the outline to match the other one. And we'll center it horizontally again. Center in the image horizontal. And there's the front cover. Um, and I could also draw on the spine as well if I wanted to draw on the pages edge. Of course, you can't see most of them because of the, the orientation of the cover means that um, you can't actually see those sides of those interest bits well you'll see that you can't actually see the spine so on. I can adjust the positioning of the cover here uh, I can add special effects so for example here XY rotations are the axes so X is the horizontal axis Y is the vertical axis Z is the one that goes into the page and it can turn the book around any of those axes so for example um, if I wanted to make it um, I could change this one yeah, you'll see the book will rotate a bit. I could make it go a bit more into the page like that. And so on. I could just keep adjusting it. Um, and of course, change the position of the CD cover. So. And when I'm not finished, uh, I either to render to clipboard, which will copy the image um, so that I can then paste it into a word processor or a graphics editing program, or render to file here and um, it will then give me a choice of what kind of file format i can put it in a png format uh, jpeg tcx or windows bitmap png png is the just best option for the web uh, it produces a high quality image um, and of course it's much compatible with most programs and all modern web browsers and you can just save that to your computer and then use that later either on your website or in an ebook uh, so that's basically um i'll cancel that that's basically it. The software has a lot more features as well, but this gives you a general idea. There's full help instructions and a free trial version that you can download and try out for free. Software is called Cover Factory. Website is called coverfactory.com. So go to the website, go and check it out, find out more about the program, download the free trial, and see what you think. Thank you very much.